All right, that was awesome. Good job, everyone. If you want to practice that, exchange numbers, or if you know each other's uh, numbers already, exchange cards. Uh, you can feel free to call me, but you have to buy a coffee if we do it at a coffee shop. Um, I, I enjoy engaging in sales process and teaching and learning from other people about their sales posture process and, and watching their postures as they go through that. Um, so that would be an opportunity for us to get together after this. Um, that would be awesome. And again, with each other, it's fun to practice and learn more about each other. So hopefully it's kind of hard to see all the slides because um, how I move it change the camera changes focus. So uh, hopefully you can read that once in a while as I stand still. So how does gravity, how does our posture um, affect our business? So we went through the postures and when I was talking about postures, we were talking about leaning forward, leaning back, arms crossed to the side, things of that nature. And all of those definitely affect the sales process. And you can tell if someone's angry, you can tell if someone's sad, but sometimes they're confusing. So it's an art. That's why I want to practice with you or practice, uh, frankly, that's why I want to practice so I can get better at it and teach better and things of that nature. So posture alone uh, can begin to increase your sales. Up to this point, again, we've talked about mostly postures in this position. A recent study came out. A recent study came out that said, if you can tell as the person buying, they surveyed about 1,500 people, if you can tell the person that you're buying from is in pain, there was a 28% chance of you walking away from that purchase. 28%, that's, could you imagine just a tiny tilt of the head, a tiny grimace on the face, a hand on the back showing that you're in pain? That can change someone's ability to buy from you by 28%. Could you imagine a 28% increase in sales? And what if that number was just with a huge, that 1,500 people were just hugely judgmental? What if it was only 14%? What a 14% increase in sales in your practice, in your business, in, in your insurance company, with your uh, employees, with the people that you're, the clients you're trying to sell for, with 14% more income, more sales, would that be awesome for you? <laughs> would be awesome for me too. So that's why over the next couple of minutes we're gonna be talking about posture and uh, this motion versus this motion. So there are about eight different postures or eight different positions, different things that we look at in our office that begin to affect um, how someone deals with gravity. If you can kind of see the slide up there with different people on the video, those of you that are watching online, it's hard to see, but there's a different postures. This person has a high shoulder, this person has a high hip, this person has a head tilt, and this person's got a whole bunch of different stuff going on. So even without noticing it, if your head is slightly tilted, someone might perceive that as you are in pain. If your head is tilted and your shoulders up and your hips up and you're trying to have a conversation with someone, even if you're standing tall, it's difficult for someone to consciously or even subconsciously get fully engaged in that conversation because the, how your body is standing looks painful to them. And again, 28%. That's a huge amount of uh, sales that potentially you're losing just because of the way that your body is standing. So how do you change that? Can you look in a mirror and, and work and change? And could you go to the gym and work on different postures? And Sure you could. But oftentimes what I tell my patients after they begin to see that their posture is slightly flawed or hugely flawed, that if you had to think about your posture and how you were standing, how your head was tilting, how your shoulders were tilting, your hips were tilting, how much weight you were putting on each foot, are my shoulders rotated, are my hips rotated, how, how, how are all those things affecting my sales process, you would probably forget to breathe if you had to think about those all the time. So those changes have to come basically from inside out. There are various different ways to do that. I think one of the best ways to do that is through getting your head on straight, so to speak, using that cranial cervical junction as the body's ability to improve how they're standing, how their, their health is, 
again, how health can affect everything in your life, your business, your friendships, um, your fatigue levels, your energy levels, and things like that. So if I'm standing like this all day long, do you think I'm gonna have a higher energy level or here will I have a higher energy level? And if my energy level is affecting my business, like I can only work from eight to noon, afternoon I am zonked, or I need two to three cups of coffees to get me through the afternoon. It may not be the best strategy to drink three cups of coffees to get you through the rest of the day every day, uh, but that's what some people do. And they, they do it probably maybe because of their diet, in my opinion, because how gravity is pushing down on them, their bodies energetically needs to use more of their body's process just to not compromise, just to not get sick, just to not be in pain. And at some point, when that body's compromised, you begin to show pain, you begin to feel pain, and that can affect your business up to 28%, which is a lot of money that we've already talked about five to 10 times now. And I'll probably say it a few more times. And another couple things that will, people will notice as their body begins to be compromised in the side to side motion is again decreased energy, but they'll see decreased reaction time. They'll see decrease in their health. They'll see changes in their heart rate patterns. They'll see changing in their breathing. They'll see changes in their performance in general. What if you were able to take everyone, all of your clients, all of your uh, people in your office and were to get them to improve their energy levels? What if you were to get them to improve their health? Decrease the amount of sick time in the office. Improve their posture when they're on the phone. Improve their posture when they're out at sales meetings. What if you're able to improve all of that? That would be huge for the productivity of your office. And all there are studies that show when people are healthier, have more energy, they take less sick days, they get injured less, and if they get injured at all, then their days off are less, so less money going out of your pocket for workers' compensation, less money going out, out for premiums, all sorts of things like that. If your ergonomics are better in your office, you tend to see less injuries and things like that. If you're at a factory lifting carpets, if you are on a floor putting down carpets, if you're putting in HVAC machines or having to reach in weird positions to get to the various components of a, a heating and air conditioning thing, how does that change your sales process? Or how does that change your body and your health? If it hurts every time you do it, you're gonna get slower. And when you get slower, you'll have to set less appointments or you'll have to hire someone to do those things because you're not able to. Maybe you're at a point in the business where you're just at, you are hiring people, which is awesome. So how do you train that employee not to get injured? So you can increase productivity as well when you have better postures. So as we begin to end, I'll end and then we'll um, practice and we'll talk um, shop and try and set up some meetings to practice posture. Um, but what, what's next for you? How can you tell if your body's leaning to the side? How can you tell if there's a grimace on your face? If you know you're in pain, that's obvious. But your body has to be at a certain point of dysfunction before it even, like, pain even registers to your brain. Has anyone rolled their ankle before? Has anyone kind of rolled their ankle and they thought, oh no, this is gonna hurt, and then within a couple seconds, you're like, oh, you have? <laughs> yeah, and, and it didn't hurt? That's because it didn't get to the point, the threshold of where pain comes up. Your body is not in pain till it's somewhere between 35 and 55, maybe even up to 60% dysfunction for your body registers, okay, now you're in pain, deal with me. So you could be, your body could be sending pain signals that just aren't high enough for your body to register because it isn't necessarily affecting your, how you're surviving. So if your body's like this, you may not notice pain yet, but the person you're engaging, the person you're sell selling to, they will notice that posture. So what's next? Yeah, come see me, perfect. I have appointments for you if you want. Um, I've set up a couple appointments uh, just for the people here today. We can do that. And then also we do this talk or talk similar to it in offices and we can gear that towards your different offices. I spoke to companies and uh, warehouses. I've spoke to 
all sitting in cubicle office employees. I've talked to a combination of construction workers and in-house construction employees where some are sitting and some are using their bodies all day. I had been flown to Memphis and Denver and Dallas and Houston um, just to give presentations on ergonomics, on productivity and posture and how it can improve um, the productivity within the workplace. So if you think that's important for your business, feel free to um, set one of those up afterwards. Thank you so much for coming. Hopefully you learned one or two things and you were able to get out of the office and enjoy your brown bag lunch. Um, if there's any questions, I'm going to turn off the camera now.